Hi, my name is Katie Bell. Um, my husband and I have an eBay store called uh, Bells That Sell. We've been selling on eBay off and on for about five years. And this past, it's probably been almost two years, between a year and a half and two years that we started taking eBay a little more seriously. Um, we always did pretty well selling on eBay. So, and I love going to the thrift store or anywhere to get a deal, garage sale, anything. My mom, we used to go to the thrift store all the time growing up. And so, um, that's where I would find stuff. And then my house started filling up with stuff and then we had kids and we moved and I got rid of stuff and long story short, we're down to one income and uh, we decided, my husband and I, to turn our hobby of thrifting into income. And uh, we didn't start going to the Goodwill outlet until almost a year ago, it was this past, or this, yeah, this past January. My husband went, I had just had a baby, I really didn't feel very comfortable going to the thrift store or the, the bins just because I'm nursing him and I just can't be apart from a two or three month old at that time. So for hours on end. So, and I really wanted to give it an all in, but, and I was itching to go. Um, so my husband went a couple of times and would bring home some stuff and a lot of it was great and some of it was so so i really was just like let me add it let me go i want to find stuff um so uh, i say so a lot um i want to say it was spring where i started going and i've been going pretty consistently i probably go um up until this point Maybe just twice a month. And then I, I have other out, like I go to thrift stores and things in the meantime. And, um, this is my basement. This is actually just a stage. My husband and I made this out of scrap material. Like this is, it's a basement all over here. You can't even tell. I have wood floor I found at the Habitat Restore. And we were finding our bin stuff in thrift store stuff and taking pictures in our dining room and with three kids in our dining room with our other stuff it just wasn't working so we probably spent a hundred dollars on all this over the summer and set it up and um and it's helped us uh by making this set up with this wood floor and this wall uh and we just have basic uh those uh those clip lights with parchment on them to soften the light there's four of them here and I can move them around wherever I want um, for the best lighting my husband works retail so uh, the store that he used to work at they filed for bankruptcy a long time ago we brought this home so this is like this was free um, just bought a nice hook for hanging stuff on you can't really see it up there we have an ironing board down here our washer and dryer and the room over there's a table here I'd show you, but I, I'm in my basement, uh, so it's not pretty. But um, there's boxes galore. There's hanging stuff. We've got all of our inventory stashed away over there in tubs. Like it's we've got a pretty nice system. I'll go to the bins. I'll source for about three or four hours, or the first store. I'll bring the stuff home. I just pull it into the garage. I dump my bags here. I start going through it all. Um, I take pictures. Last night I probably took, it probably took me two hours to photograph um, like 30 things. And that's what I'm actually making this video for is to show you what I found. So, um, like I was saying, I really ramble really bad. Um, I take all the pictures and bring it upstairs to our dining room with the laptop. I've got tape taped to my table and I just start listing. I do comps as I go and if it takes me more than a minute then I just give up and I make up a price. Um, and it probably takes me upwards of three minutes, maybe five minutes max to make a listing. 
Um, although I feel like I'm lying when I say that because my son took a pretty good nap today and only got like five things listed, but I did eat lunch. Kind of. Okay, so. And then uh, once I'm done listing something, I bring it down here, or my husband actually packs it all up and folds it and puts it in bags and puts it in the tubs, and we wait for it to sell. Uh, if it doesn't sell, we go to auction, and if, and that's a whole other story, if it doesn't sell seven-day auction four consecutive times, then I'm done with it. I just donate it or we have a garage sale pile we're building up. Um, so, okay. Here's my stuff. This pile here in front of me is the pile that I took pictures of last night in about that two hour time. So I'm gonna start with that. These are things that I've started listing. So if you go to my store, Bells That Sell, um, on eBay, you'll find these things currently listed and you'll have to forgive me if I can't remember how much I'm asking for, but this cashmere, this is cashmere charter club luxury. It's size medium. It's like in perfectly good condition. There's no holes. It smells like a normal cashmere sweater, whatever that smells like that you'd find at the bins, but it doesn't smell bad. It's just, you know, I don't know. It could use some refreshing maybe, but I'm sure it's fine. Uh, like I said, no holes. It's soft as hell. I love it. I keep it for myself, but I also kind of just want the money. I think on this, I probably paid 25 cents to 50 cents, and I think I'm asking for 30 because there's another one that sold for about 25. So I'm going to see if I can get it at 30. I like to do best offers, so I go a little high. And then if somebody says $20, of course I'm going to take $20. But um, if you want it. And you put in an offer for $20, I'll accept. Um, okay, so next item is Torrid. This is new with tags. It's just a nice blouse. It's size one. It's got a print on it. Um, crochet top. It's cute. Uh, it was $38.50. I didn't pay $38.50. I paid $0.25 cents or $0.50. Cents. This thing is really light. I think I'm asking for $30. On, no, $25 on this. And it's already been looked at several times. Here's an ugly Christmas sweater. It's red. It's in great shape. It's like an acrylic basic ugly Christmas sweater. It's got penguins on it. Although you might not think it's ugly. I don't think it's ugly. Um, as several of these have been selling. There's a green one. I have a red one. This is size medium. This is LOL Vintage brand. It's not my favorite band, brand. We've, we've sold this brand before. And then it just kind of sits, but I imagine this will go. I think on this one, I'm asking 30 with best offer and I'll take at least 20 for it. I might even take 15. This next one is vintage. It's called Summit Sportswear. It's made in USA. This is definitely vintage. It's acrylic, I think. Um, yeah. That's all I got. I just thought it was kind of unique, so I picked it up. Our store, we try to find just kind of unique stuff. I try not, I try to shy away from, I don't know, regular everyday stuff that I know somebody could just go to Target and buy, or go to Walmart and buy, or the thrift store. Like I really try to find stuff that I don't know. If someone just happens to go into my store and see something like this, this is just a gap navy blue and white short sleeve sweater it's adorable um they were like oh what else do they have oh well that's cute like i don't know i just try to surprise people i feel like i'm rambling so like i said this is a a 100 cotton gap sweater i think it's yeah it's size small or medium i'm probably asking i can't remember maybe 20 dollars for that i probably won't get 20 dollars, but we'll see this is a Columbia hoodie. It's red, white, and blue long sleeve. It's size extra large. There's four of these that have already sold, and I can't remember how much they were going for. I think I'm asking for 30. I probably won't get 30 for it, but you know, like I said, I try to aim high, so if somebody comes in with an offer, we can haggle a little bit. Um, on that note, I'm not too... I'll just say low, bar, low ballers don't really discourage me. 
um, it happens, like, what are you going to do? I just either count, like if something's $20 and they ask for five, well, obviously not because shipping, if it's less than a pound, US, like first class, um, no, I'm not making $2 off of something that I think I could get $15 for. Um, so, but I'll, maybe they're just trying me. Some people like to lowball just to, to try whatever. I'll, I'll entertain that. So if it's $20, I'll counter 18 and either they'll reply, decline, they'll counter with six or five fifty, and then that's the game they're playing. Then I just, whatever, I just decline and move on. I don't even block. It's just, it's not that big of a deal to me. So, I mean, sometimes I'm like, okay, well, this person's serious. I'll counter with 10. And from that point, I, I take them a little more seriously and I might drop it to like, I don't know, 17 or 16. Sometimes it, it's a sale, sometimes it's a decline, whatever, I move on. I've got too much stuff. This next dress is Target. It's who, what, where, size small. I don't like to buy Target too much because Target, uh, people like Target, but I, I just feel like it's easy to find. I want something that's kind of unique. This is nice. It's a nice black dress. There's no pockets or anything, but somebody could wear this to work. It feels really good. It's lined. Um... I haven't listed this yet, but I might, I don't know how much this was originally, but I might start at 30 as well, but I'll probably sell for like 15. If you like it, make me an offer. <clears throat> this next top is a Harley Davidson top. Um, it's got, it's a, um, I don't know what size this is. It's got a raw hem. It's large on the back. It says Honolulu Harley Davidson Hawaii. Um, somebody will want this. It feels new to me. And honestly, when I took off the Goodwill or yeah, when I took off the Goodwill tag, there was another separate kind of plastic, whatever those tag things are, uh, still stuck on it. So this might have just been worn once. It feels really nice. Uh, I'll probably ask for like 16 or whatever. Uh, here's Victoria's Secret Pink. Uh, this is always a sell. Um, sometimes with Victoria's Secret I find that uh, somebody will make an offer and I'll accept but they never pay. Uh, what am I going to do? So this is a I only sleep in pink Victoria's Secret. I believe it's a medium. I think that's what that it means. And it says live pink 86 on the back. It's pretty nice quality for top no holes or anything uh this next brand i've never heard of it's called vintage Susie. it's size eight it's rayon but it's in like immaculate it's immaculate the i don't know what you call that is that crochet um macrame i don't know but somebody can wear this on a date it's short sleeve so maybe it's a springtime summer thing or career um, I'm probably just going to ask 20 and see what the offers are. Um, it'll probably just sell for 10. Uh, this is a top. There's no brand. It's a lace top or tool or whatever, and it's got embroidery on it. It's not very centered as you can see, but it's a nice, there's no holes or anything. I mean, somebody could wear this with a camisole or something and I think it looks nice. Um, I'll probably say 16 on this. Again, I paid like a quarter, upwards of 50 cents for all of the stuff I've already shown you. This next one is a cabbie top. Um, I know people are loving cabbie or they're like, it's hit and miss with me. This cabbie top is a nice top. It's a size small. It's short sleeve. I grabbed it. I really like it. You know, I'm, I'm confident this could sell. When I started taking pictures, I noticed that there's a hole. Um, fortunately, the hole is low enough that if I put this up for auction, $3.99 plus $3 shipping, that's usually our standard auction, and it seems to be working for us. Somebody will probably get it for $3.99 plus $3 shipping, and it'll be gone. And I'll have made $4, maybe. Maybe $5. 
This next top is J. Jill. Uh, it's linen. It's small. And it's kind of cool. It's, I don't know. I like the cut of it. I like how wide this hem is at the bottom. I don't know if you can see the hem. It's pretty wide. The hemline's like right there. Um, I'd wear this any day, but it's not my size. So I'm going to sell it. I'd probably ask for 16 for this. I might have to do comps on that though. Okay, this next one's a brand that I know people really like. I've never sold this brand before, so I'm curious to see how well this does. I have checked comps on this. I might be able to get $30. I don't think I'll go lower than $20. Um, it's Miss Me. It's 100% linen, size medium shorts, cargo shorts. They're totally adorable. They're in excellent condition. I don't think they, I mean, they've probably been worn like a season. I don't even see any wear on them. The crotch looks really good. The pockets all look good. I'll take 20 for this, but I'll I'll say 30. This next one is a sweater. Um, it probably cost me like a dollar. Uh, Cricketeer is the brand. It's vintage, 100% cotton. Uh, made in USA, size large. It's gray basket weave. Uh, my husband might like to wear this, but we're going to see if it sells. I will probably ask 30. I'll take 20. Maybe even less. This next top is another one like Cabbie. It's Michael Kors. It's kind of, there's a lot of Michael Kors out there, and it's very diluted, if you ask me. Um, but somebody might want to wear this to work. I'm not asking for a lot for this, but this is a nice heavy buckle. It's like a fish scale. Print, it's in great shape. It's a size small. And it is made out of I don't know. Oh, polyester blend. Polyester, elastane, elastine, I don't know. Let's see. Um <clears throat> so yeah, I'll probably ask for 20. I'll take an offer. This next one is a uh, plus size. It's called Sky Plus. It's a really nice blue geometric shaped like sleeveless top it's got racer back um that's what it looks like it's pretty adorable it's too big for my my form here but when i took pictures i took pictures on my floor here and then on the form so people can really get a good look at it it's in great shape i'll probably ask 20. this next top's a it's like a corley peach lace top it's really adorable. Somebody could wear this to work or on a date or whatever in springtime, Easter. It's a it's Sugar Rain is the brand, size large. I don't know what it's made out of. <clears throat> Excuse me. 100% cotton. That's pretty nice. It's better than I thought. Um, I probably asked 20. I probably sell it for 10. We'll see. This next one. This is a pretty cool one, and I almost want to keep it for myself. It's called it's Bailey 44. That's not a brand that I've heard of. Size small. And this is, it's cool. It almost kind of reminds me of something like a, you know, like a, a knight would wear, like chain mail type of, I don't know. It's got this wavy kind of basket weave print to it, or weave to it. Um. It zips up the side, starting about a third of the way up on both sides. It's got this nice big collar. Uh, this is, I believe, a cashmere blend. Sorry, wool blend. It's polyester, nylon, acrylic, and wool. Size small. Um, this won't fit me. I can't keep this. I'm a video. Um, <clears throat> I think on this, I'll probably start at 40 it's kind of heavy. Usually if it's more than a pound, obviously. If it's more than a pound, we go priority. Um, yeah, I'll probably ask for 40. This next top is Kato. I can't remember who sells this brand. I've got two of this brand. Kato, C-A-T-O. It's a size medium. It's a really bright, sunny yellow top. It's got lace on the front. It's that blue song. Blue song, B L O U S O N, um, a type of waist on it. It's pretty adorable. It's impeccable. It's in great shape. Um, 
eight a quarter. I'll probably ask for 16. Uh, this next one is Castellan. I know they sold it at Nordstrom. It's just a basic long sleeve gray, dark gray tee. Um, size large. I keep it for myself because I really like this brand. It's kind of expensive. Too expensive for me. But um, I'm going to try and sell it. I'll probably ask for 18. I'll take, I'll take 12. Um, this next one is Torrid again, I believe. It's a bathing suit. Yeah, Torrid size uh, two. You know, Torrid's like a, I believe it's a plus size brand. I've never sold it before. I see it sometimes, like in the jacket section of the thrift store. I'll see like a black faded whatever. I never pick it up because it just doesn't look great to me. I only really just try to pick up quality things. Although I made the mistake recently of I bought a I had a cashmere purple top that I thought it was fine. It was merino. My husband said it was not fine, but we sold it anyway. Customer wasn't happy. That was our fault. So she's getting her money back. We're waiting for that to come out. Okay, so Torrid. These don't have any bottoms to them. I realized after I got home, it's like a swimsuit dress. I imagine it comes with bottoms, but I just don't have the bottoms. I don't think this thing has been worn. Like, it is perfect. Uh, this is what I say, size 2. It's got the cups in it for extra support like this is this is a pretty good looking garment um i'll probably i don't know tore it i might i have to do comps on this bathing suit i'll probably start at 30. that's just a guess that's my guess okay here's kato again size medium it's got a cool print on it somebody could wear this to work i like that it's got this part on it um it's a cute top and it looked really good on the dress form when i was taking pictures I'll probably ask for 20 for this, but I'll probably go as low as 12. I've got a scarf here. It's a really nice scarf, I think. It stood out to me. It's by Asian Eye, made in China. It's 100% wool. It's got a really nice print. Voila. Okay, that's nice. Take it. No, I'm going to try and sell it. I'll probably ask for 16 for it, but I mean, with as light as this goes, um, or this is, I really just kind of want $10, so I'll go as low as 13 maybe even 10 Uh This next one is Chenille. It is Susan Horton. I've never heard of this brand. 100% rayon Chenille. It's brown and black. I don't know if you can see that there. Oh, plaid. It's super nice. Feels really soft. It's in great shape. Same with the other scarf. I'll probably do 16. And we'll see what we can get. Okay. So that pile is what I've already taken pictures of. In this next bag, my IKEA bag, here, I haven't taken pictures of any of this stuff. Oh, okay, so I'll start with this. Kind of hard to do this on the floor. This is just a really long denim dress, and it's got this animal print cuff and collar. It's from a brand I've never heard of, Original Tie Squared. Original Tie Squared. Um, large, 100% cotton. Uh, I know Modest stuff sells pretty well. I've sold some long denim before, big skirts, things like that. Um, so with this, I'm going to ask for 30 best offer, because it's in great shape. Somebody will want this. Next is a vintage top. There's no tag, I don't think. I think that this was handmade. It's pretty adorable. It's got nice long cuffs on it. I honestly don't know what this is made out of, but I like the detail on it with the, the front, with the sleeves. I don't know. It's got some spots on it. I've got a vintage pile over there. I might just add it to and sell as a lot. This one I'm not doing anytime soon. I just grabbed it because I know I'm collecting all that stuff. I think same with this. this. No, this is. This is probably still vintage. It's John Matthew, California. It's a size 14 MS, I imagine. That stands for Miss. Um, it's polyester. It's cute. Okay. Magenta. I think that's magenta. It's got all the buttons. It's in great shape. 
This next one, I couldn't... People like Snoopy. I picked up this Peanuts top. Somebody will want this. It's in great shape. It's really soft. Snoopy gray. Peanuts brand. This is 2011. Peanuts Worldwide. Uh, the thrift store is $3.99. I probably paid 25 cents for it at the bins. I will probably ask for $14. Uh, this next one is an ugly Halloween sweater vest. It was being sold at thrift store for $2. It's Studio Collection Brands, size large. Um, it's got some dust and fuzz on it, but I'll probably... I don't know. I don't know if I will put this up now and let it sit, because you never know, or if I'll just stash it away and make a Halloween stash and pull all that stuff out in like July, August. You know, when they start pulling candy out. Okay, this next top is by Adidas. It's large. It's a big. I don't know if this is vintage or not. But it's a nice big Adidas t-shirt. Somebody might want this. I'm not going to ask for a lot because this tag looks kind of worn. But the sweater, I mean, the top looks all right. The armpits look fine. Um... At the thrift stores, it was two dollars. I paid like a quarter to fifty cents for this. I'll probably ask sixteen. Okay, this next one is pink Victoria's Secret. It's a good, like I said earlier, it'll sell well. It's just I really hope the person pays. The downside with this T-shirt is I don't know if you can see the rub. You know what that rub is? The belly button. I get it. I'll probably just donate this because or give it to the girl down the street. I know she has wearing pink. Pretty sure on it. It's really soft though. Too bad it's not in the best shape. Um Okay, this next is LL Bean. It's just a tan sweater, long sleeve. Made out of 100 percent cotton. It's a large regular. It's in really great shape. I should probably list this and get this in the shop so it will sell. Somebody will want this stay warm um this next one is cold water creek i'm kind of iffy with that it's like cavi or j jill i don't know i don't know but it's a size three ounce and it's linen and it's in great shape so i'm gonna try it looks almost like a crop top for a 3x um, I'm going to try and sell or ask for 18 for this. I should probably look into it first, obviously. Okay. Um, next is, oh, about this bag. When I was at the bins, it was crazy busy. There were like 200 people there. And they kept bringing out bins like every 20 minutes, minutes which was really awesome. Um... And I lost my turn of thought. Uh, so they plot these bins, you know, every 20 minutes, which is great. I have my son there with me. He's 13. Uh, and in one of the bins, I noticed these weird looking pants. And I've never ridden a horse before, but I am familiar kind of with the pants. They're equestrian pants. And they've got the padding on the inside of the knee, like these. Uh, this brand is um, Polar Tech. These are size 32. I don't know if these are like men's or women's. But in this bin, I just kept pulling out and pulling out more and more equestrian st stuff. Klaus Crayon? I don't know. So this sweatshirt here, I don't know if this means anything, but it's Eld Hestar, the LD Hestar, Hestar, Volcano Horses. And on the back it says Island. I don't know what that means. But it came with all this other equestrian stuff, so I grabbed it. I just grabbed as much as I could because I don't know what the comps are on equestrian horse riding stuff, but I imagine they're probably pretty good. So I have these pants. One, two, three, four. 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pairs. All different kinds of fabrics, textures, materials, whatever, brands, men, women. There's a variety here. These are really kind of, they're not really too worn. They are dirty, like they're, oh, fuck. There's horse hair on these. And then there's a sweater. Art Unlimited Sportswear. It's size 2XL, but it's got a big old horse on it. And it looks like a carpet bag, but somebody's going to want this. So I was really excited about that. My, I've got this for my daughter's birthday. It's one of those knit mermaid things. Birthday for Christmas. Um, didn't expect to find that. And Spider-Man. That's all of that. All right. Uh, my laptop's going to die. So I'm going to cancel or end this and probably make a second video. I really hope this worked out. Thank you.